Hey guys, welcome to APG. My name is Alex and today we're going to be unboxing the PlayStation Sony DualSense wireless controller for the PlayStation 5. Now obviously the PlayStation 5 doesn't come out until I believe the 12th of November, so that's about a week away, but Sony for some reason has been releasing their peripherals. Uh, you can find the cam, I don't know if you can find the camera, but I believe I saw the, the Pulse 3D headphones and the media remote but obviously what we want to know about is this now i know my nails are pretty anyway uh let's see what we got here the playstation box uh says compatible hardware with the ps5 only uh i believe you can use it on the switch and on the pc but you need an at least for the switch you need an 8-bit do uh adapter here we have, you know, it has heightened senses, uh, the haptic feedback, the adaptive triggers, a built-in microphone, which is actually pretty good, and signature comfort. In my opinion, I always prefer the Xbox controller just a little bit more, but, you know, that's just preference. Okay, let us begin. I got a little box cutter knife here. Uh, let's see now. Let's see, did I open it? I don't know. Now your area might vary if you find these controllers or not. I found it at my local Walmart, but when I got there, there were none left and I had to ask around to like, do you have the controller? Do you have the controller? Anyway, there's the first. I don't know, I don't like the packaging that much. The packaging for the PlayStation 4 controllers are way better than this. Uh, this went bye-bye. Open it here, open it here. Ah, oh, my finger! So it's a white box inside of a white box. Like I said, the PS4 controller packaging is way better than this. Hopefully, they'll make it better in the future. Where the fuck? Here we have the controller, sort of. Here we have the controller. Some paperwork that no one actually reads or cares about. No USB cable? Seriously? Is everybody not including cables in their packaging? Save the world, whatever. Anyway, put this over there. I'm so sorry, Ivy. I knocked you out. And here we have the beautiful PS4, con PS4, PS5 remote control. It already has cat hair. As you can see, it actually feels heftier than the PS4 controller. The triggers feel pretty good, very clicky. I believe this is the touchpad. We have some USB-C cable uh, charging. Uh, here's the microphone. Let me see, you know, if it zooms in. That looks like a button, whatever the it does. Um, I'm guessing this is the share button like before, the menu button. I still call them start and select, I don't care. Here we have the back of the remote. I'm guessing that's like the little uh, reset button. And here is the remote. And you can see here is the little light bar and the speaker. Obviously I don't have the remote connected to anything so you won't I won't feel the haptic feedback or whatever. Um, for some reason, the, the bottom part is flat. Can I stand it? No, I cannot. I cannot stand it. But just for comparison, here we have the PS5 controller next to a PS4 controller. Obviously, the PS5 controller is bigger in almost every way. 
Uh, let's see what else. The light, the touch bar is obviously bigger. The PlayStation button, instead of being a little circle, it's the PS logo. <clears throat> D pads look the same. You can see it there. Share buttons or whatever they want to call it. Options button, whatever they want to call it. Um, PS5 controller feels heavier, obviously. It has those, you know, this HD rumble, I guess they want to... It's not called HD rumble, but the equivalent of it. You know, adaptive triggers. Here we have, you know, four more uh, comparisons. We have it next to a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. the switch controller it's about the same size actually it looks more similar to it than it does the ps4 controller and last but not least we compare it to an xbox one controller the xbox one controller really they haven't changed the design at all i mean if it if it's not broken don't fix it my controller has been extensively used, so I don't know if it's really that good of a comparison, but it's... anyway, here we have the both controllers. I guess about the same size, I guess. Eh, a little skinnier. But I do like how it feels. It feels more natural, more comforting, more like it fits in my palm way better and the PlayStation 4 controller. And it's heavier. I believe it's because of those ro motors that it has in here instead of those little rotating discs that they usually have. Um, I'm not gonna connect it to anything because, you know, it doesn't work with anything and the PlayStation 5 has yet to be released. Like I said, on November 12th and the Xbox Series X on November 10th but we'll just have to wait and see how it plays because you know I believe you can connect it to a a PC but that's just like a normal Bluetooth computer uh, controller and I don't know about you oh wait the it's on the back now on the front come on come on you're almost there come on I think you can barely make it out. I don't know if you saw it there, but it, it was almost, almost. Let me see if I can do it again. No, no, it just, let me see. I had it before. I guess you can sort of see it. I guess I don't have a those macro cameras or whatever. But in my opinion, it is a really good feeling remote. Can't wait to play it on the PS5, but until then, it's basically just gonna collect dust for like about a week. Anyway guys, that is my unboxing of the PS5 controller. I can't really test it out, can't really show you anything. I'm really mad that you don't get a USB-C cable in the box, but what you gonna do? I mean, Nintendo included one in the Pro Controller, and that was already 70 bucks, and this is 70 bucks too. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it, my little unboxing, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.